So I'm going to ask you Be questions. Careful. I'm going to ask you questions. And you're going to give me answers. Um, tell me your name. Rose Panther. Grandma Rose. Grandma. Grandma Rose. And um, when were you born? When? Yeah. August 20th. What year? 1908. And where were you born? I was born in the Bronx, New York. And um, where, what's your mother and father's name? My mother's name was Annie Schwartz. Yeah. And my father's name was Isaac Schwartz. Do you remember their birthdays or no? Do I remember? Remember when they were born? No. No? Long time ago. Where were they born? Where was your mother born? Where I was born. Your mother. My mother was born in Romania. How about your father? Russia. Russia. And um, tell me about your brothers and your sister. Brothers, any brothers and sisters? I have no sisters. How about your brothers? I have two brothers. One is Saul right. Schwartz. Right. And the other is Stanley Schwartz. But Stanley's now deceased. Stanley passed away. Stanley passed away. And where does Sally live? Brooklyn, New York. Well, Sal... No, in California. Yeah, yeah. Uncle Sal. Uncle Sal Schwartz lives yeah. in California yeah. with yeah. his wife and family. And you're very close with Sal. Yes, we're very close. We speak to each other very often. Good man. How about you? You have two daughters. Two daughters. I have two daughters. Edith Kaplan and Gavita Bergman. Right. Tell me about your girls. Tell you about my daughters? Yes. Yeah. Edith lives in in Florida with her husband, Seymour. Right. And her daughter and her grandchildren. Right. And D? And D lives in Spring Valley, New York with her husband and her family. Right. Tell me about your girls. Tell me about them. The good girls? Uh, my daughter, Davida, she, she's working for Fortune now for a very big department store mm -hmm. for a few days a week. Right. And her husband, he's got his own business right. in, in, in the uh, printing line. Right. And Edie and Seymour? He's ready to retire. <laughs> yeah. How about Edie and Seymour? Why? How about Edie and Seymour? Edie and Seymour. Seymour is a CPA. What does that mean? Constant, mm. constant pain in the ass? What is CPA? What? What is CPA? CPA. That's a... a yeah. A Certified public accountant. Certified public accountant. Right. How about Edith? Edith. Edith is a housewife. Okay. Are they good girls? Are oh, they wonderful? They're the best. I'm very lucky to have such yeah. wonderful children and grandchildren. How many grandchildren do you have? I have seven. How about great grandchildren? Eight. Really? Pretty nice. Um. Tell me about Grandpa. Tell me about my Grandpa. Grandpa? Yeah, tell me about Grandpa Al. Grandpa Al was my husband. His name was Elias Cantor. Uh, Where did you meet him? My friend was getting married and she wanted me to be a bridesmaid and her cousin was Al and she introduced him to me and he never stopped calling me and 
coming to see me and finally we fell in love with each other and uh, when did got you married. When did you meet him? What year? Do you remember? What year did you get married? Well, what year were you married? When was I married? Do you remember? 19, 1937, I think. I think 36, 37. I yeah, I think so. And um, tell me about where you would go on the weekends. Out of the city. You lived in the city, right? You lived in, where did you live? With when the, my husband died, I started going on trips. Yeah. Where, where have you been in your life? Where have you traveled to? I went to Mexico, Spain, Portugal. I went all over, three times to Israel. Really? Where else? Anywhere else you can remember? I, I went to all different countries, all by myself, with a group. And you were involved in certain groups like Hadassah? What's that? You belong to Hadassah. What other groups did you belong to? Women's groups. I belong to Hadassah for that. Nineteen sixty. Since nineteen sixty. Wow. What is that? What is what are you what are you showing me? I, I have a charm that they I I got from uh, her dancer. Uh, uh, a Jewish charm. Can mm. they see? Yeah. It? Yeah. And what is and he? They, uh, I was the president of my group from about nice. 1960 until the present day. I'm, I'm still a, 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 a member of Hadassah. And um, tell me about the weekends in the mountains. Oh, the weekend in the, the weeks in the in Hadassah. No, the week in the in the mountains in the Catskill Mountains. In the Catskill Mountains, my in-laws and uh, my husband own a hotel there. What was the name? The Kanko, K-A-N-C-O. What did that stand for? And my uh, my mother-in-law was one of the owners too, with the, her daughter and her husband. But what was her name? The mother-in-law. My daughter and mother-in-law. What was my, your mother? -in -law? My grand uh, mother-in-law. Sarah. Sarah what? They're uh, Right. I just want to be sure. And now, um, you went up every weekend during the summer? I used to, I was working on Ellis Island. After I was married, I was still working. But I used to go up to the Kanko Hotel, Cantor and Cone. Okay. For weekends. And, uh... When I became pregnant, I stopped working, and I gave birth to my daughter, Edith. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what year she was born? Do you yeah. remember? What year was she? 1937. Right. And Davida was born six years later. So that's all I had was two daughters, I didn't want any more. I didn't want any boys. I liked only girls. Uh -huh. Until I got my grandchildren. Right. And they were a lot of boys. I was sorry that I didn't have any boys. Tell me about coming up to Spring Valley on the weekends. Couple uh, of what? Tell me about your trips to Spring Valley. Your weekend trips to Spring Valley. To Spring Valley. Yeah, you would make a trip to Spring Valley over the weekends. Oh, you would drive. Both my daughters had homes in Spring Valley, New York. Right. And I used to go uh, almost every weekend. I used to go to Spring Valley. Davida had a, and her husband had a house 
and Edith and Seymour had a house, and. Uh, and you would drive your car. I drove my car. What kind of car did you have? I had a, I had a, I had three cars, and I, when I moved down to Florida, I shipped my car down to Florida, and. I've had about three cars <laughs> that I bought down here. I kept changing them. Which car had the little push buttons? Which car had a push button? Push to go forward, push to go reverse. Which car was that? Not with buttons. I, I had the ship. What about the Valiant? The Valiant. The Valiant. Didn't they have yeah. little push buttons? I don't remember. And tell me, do you remember the bubble gum story? the bubble gum. You remember the Valiant used to leak the windshield? Oh, I have a, a, a funny story. When they, they, my, my car started to leak in the front, the windows, and uh, I was chewing gum, and I used to take a piece of gum from my mouth and put it where the leak was. And to this day, my grandchildren make fun of me because I used to put the chewing gum in. It shouldn't leak into the car. Yeah. And to this day, they remember that. Yeah, they, we didn't make fun of it. We like that story. It's Grandma yeah. Rosie's bubble gum car. Only recently, one of, I don't remember who it was, so saying, remember, Grandma, the way you used to put chewing gum yeah. to, to stop a leak in your car? Oh, yeah. Do you remember at night we used to have a party? We're having a party. You remember at night? Yeah. When Mommy and Dad would go out and we would have a little... Oh, yes. My grandchildren, were. they loved me and I loved each and every one of them. Yeah. They, I, they, they were, I had the most wonderful uh, children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I'm a very lucky woman. Yeah, you are. I only pray to God that I could live a little longer so I could get a lot of pleasure out of seeing them and being with them. You will. You will. We love you. They love me. And my grandson... My oldest grandson is Henry. He tops everybody. He's the best I could ever ask. Uh, you didn't have to say that, but thank you. Thank he you. Teach, he treats me like an angel. He's always keeping in touch with me. I love you. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for taking my, my life history. We're not done. We're going to come back and visit another day and do some more. Another day. For another day. Another day, Henry promised to come and take a, more pictures of me. I will. I hope I'm still around. You, you've been saying that for 30 years. Yeah. All right. See you. Bye. See you. <laughs> he says I saying that for 30 years. I, I, I'd be glad to count the years one by one. I thank God for every minute that he gives me to stay. Okay. What was that? Brian and uh, Margie knew that Brian was coming here. Yeah. So she wrote a letter to me and Brian gave me... Read it to me. Read it to me. No, you, no, read, you read it to I me. I read it three times. Read it one more time. Did you read this letter? Mm -mm. No. Go ahead. Yeah? Go ahead. Shall I tell you what it is? Yeah. Go ahead, tell me, what is it? I'm going to read a letter that my granddaughter Margie sent to me. Okay. November 18th. David. What year? 
2001. Thank you. Dear Grandma, I know it has been a long time since we have spoken. I have tried several times to call you, but I guess that I am picking the wrong time to call or you are out of the house at therapy. I thought that writing a letter would be better than calling since you have such difficulty with your hearing. I have to admit that I have been upset with you since the high holy days when we always get together for dinner. Not having you with us disturbed me. You seem to make excuses for not coming. Like, for example, you don't feel well, but I think it's more than that, Grandma. You seem to, to want to isolate yourself from everything. I cannot even begin to understand your frustration with your hearing loss, but I think this plays a very big part in why you don't join us for family gatherings as much. I miss you when you don't come. As I get older, family becomes more and more important to me. Please forgive me for not speaking with you in the last couple of months, but I was just, parenthesis, stewing over this. I promise that I will never let, let this much time go by without speaking to you. I think that I will try to come to see you more often than, than to call since you don't hear over the phone that well. I hope that you are coming to Thanksgiving dinner. I miss you and love you very much. Love, Marjorie. Wow. This is the letter from my granddaughter, Marjorie Kaplan. And I appreciate that she has sent it to me. I love her very much. So what are you gonna, what are you gonna say to Marjorie when you see her? What are you gonna say to her? I didn't. No, when you see her today. What am I gonna say? Yeah. I appreciate her sending me a letter, and I know she loves me. Yeah. Wow, that's nice. And I love her. Who else? Who else writes to you? What? Who else writes you letters? Who else writes you letters? I don't get you. Who, who, who else? Brian. Writes letters too? Brian uh, delivered the letter to me. No, who else? Who else writes to you weekly or monthly? Who? Anybody else write to you? Do you get no, letters in the nobody mail? Nobody else. Is. Nobody writes to you? That's... Nobody writes to me. Do you get cards in the mail? Do you get... I get cards. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't get a card from her. That's nice. Or from you. I didn't get a card from you. For what? For Thanksgiving? Not for Thanksgiving. I send you birthday cards. From, uh, for a uh, Yontif. I didn't get you a Yontif card? I didn't get, I didn't even get my mother a Yontif Happy card. New I didn't get it, my mother a Yontif card. You didn't get your mother. No, I'm a You're bear. getting I'm a... your neglect film. I know. All right. What I... else? What else do you want to talk about? What do you want to talk Is about? Is that still on? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So let's talk. I... Well, let's talk about, um, let's, how far back can you remember? Can you, as a ch can you go back to, as a child? How far back can you go? How far back? Can you remember? Yeah, what do you remember? As a child. As a child. Yeah, do you remember anything? All I know that 
when I was a little uh, in my teens, I always used to fight with with my my little sister, Davida. What you didn't? Have, Davida was your, your Davida's your you're not your sister. Davida's your daughter. Davida's my daughter. I'm getting confused. When, you when were I little, was a little girl. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, yes. What? And uh, what? the Vita used to, the Vita and Edith used to save money when uh, when they were uh, little children, and uh, lots of times Edith used to borrow from the Vita. I keep saying the Vita. But now she calls herself D. But I love the name Davida, and I still call her both D or Davida. Yeah. Where were you born? Where were you born? In the Bronx? I was born on the, yes. I was born in the Bronx, on Tinton Avenue. Do you remember the address? Six forty, I think it was. Six. Is it a high rise? Yes. 640 Tinton Avenue? Yeah, Bronx, New Bronx. York. And and how long did you live there for? Do you remember? To what age? Oh, no. I don't remember how long I lived there. But I, I, I also lived on, on another street. There was a Catholic church there and uh, a public school too and I used to go to that public school for a little while. Do you remember the school number? P.S. Do you remember the school? Which school it was? Which school did you go to? Uh, it was uh, St. Mary's I think. You went to St. Mary's? I think that was the name of it. A Jewish girl? Yes, but they had, uh, uh, I didn't uh, <laughs> partake of the uh, Catholic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you go to synagogue? Did you go to synagogue with your parents, temple? Did you go to temple? Yeah, of course I went to temple for the holidays. But my parents, my mother and father went to the... A temple, especially for uh, the New Year's, the Jewish New Year's, and I used to go with them, and I used to take along a little lunch in my in a bit a big, and uh, and I remember that yes, and we, we we had a lot of fun with all the little children there. Yeah, and uh, did you go? Did your brothers go also? Did your brothers go with you to synagogue? Your brothers. My folk? No, your brothers. Your br My brothers? Yes, they went. My brothers, Saul and Stanley, may he rest in peace. Yeah? Yeah, Stanley. Uh, was Stanley uh, uh, in his... Uh, Stanley was married twice. Yeah. And tell me, tell me about Stanley. Stanley? Yeah, tell me about him. He, he uh, Stanley, my brother Stanley, got a heart attack and was in the hospital. He was a tall man, right? He was tall and very handsome. Mm -hmm. And my brother and my uh, uh, other, my, my other brother is Saul. He now he lives in. Uh, California with his wife mm -hmm. and his children and I speak to him at least once a week and maybe more often. Nice. He calls me very often. He's uh, three years younger than I am and I am 93 wow. now. And he is just 90. Tell me about your mother. 
My mother, may she rest in peace, I was at the Canco Hotel and uh, my mother was uh, with me. I always kept my mother with me at the hotel during the summer and uh, my mother lived with me when my father died. He dropped dead on the subway train. He had a heart attack and Al, my husband Al, came to the Canco and picked me and my sister-in-law up. I forgot her name. Uh, uh, and uh, he took Al, may he rest in peace, took us Joe home and um, my mother gave up her apartment and I had my own apartment. It was after I was married and I, Al and I had an apartment in the Bronx and, uh, Tell me about um, more about your mother. Was she uh, a good cook? My mother was an excellent cook. She took care of the house, and I, I used to go to business. I worked on Ellis Island for nine years, and my mother took care of um, uh, Edith. I don't think she was born. The is six years younger than Edith, mm -hmm. and uh, they get along very well to this day, my two girls. Tell me more about your mother. What's, what story do you remember about your mother? What do you remember? My mo mother? Tell me more about your mother. She was very good looking. Yeah. She, uh, was she? She's not like me. I'm not as good looking as my mother was. And uh, she begged me, I only, I only had two girls, and my mother begged me to have another, another baby. Uh, and I, I said, I don't want any more children. She said, maybe it'll be a boy. I said, I don't like boys, I like girls. <laughs> um, her name was Annie, right? Uh -huh. Grandma Annie, Annie. Annie. My mo mother's name was Annie Schwartz. Annie was her real name? Annie? Annie. A-N-N-I-E. Not Ann? Annie. Annie Schwartz. Do you remember what year she was born or you don't remember what year? She, she... was a tall, thin woman. Was she? Yeah, she was handsome. Did she Very have... good looking. Did she have any brothers and sisters? Who? Your mother. Did she have brothers? She only had... My mother only had one brother, uh, and uh, he lived, uh, I, I don't remember where he lived, in another city. But he used to come to visit us very often. Do you, what was your mother's maiden name? Cohen. Annie Cohen. Cohen. My mother's name, maiden name was Annie Cohen. Hmm. Tell me about your father. Your father. Oh, my father. They don't come like him anymore. What was his name? His name was Isaac. Mm, Isaac Schwartz. Yeah, Isaac Schwartz. He was one of the best. My father, may he rest in peace, was wonderful. And, and my husband was just like him. I think that's how I fell in love with Al. What did your father he do? He was just like my father. What did your father do for a living? What did he do for a living, your father? My father, what did he do for... Oh, he worked for the... For the... For the... For the uh, trains. What did he the do? The subways. What did he do in the subway? He was a conductor. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. And he dropped dead in the train. How old was he when he died? My father, I think he was 50. Young man. He was very young. 
He yeah. conducted the train. Do you remember what, where in Manhattan? Which route? Yeah. Which, which yeah. route? In the Bronx. Yeah. And the dad Manhattan. Wow. And is it what year when he when he died? My mother and I gave both. I, I had my own apartment when I was married, and uh, Al and I and my mother moved together. What do you remember? What year your father died? What? What year did your father die? I don't. I forgot. Yeah. It's all right. He was a very young man. Wow.